Welcome to the workshop, Getting Started with MDF. Today we will see some fundamental concept on how to develop complex MES applications with the MDF library according to the ISA 95 standard. The MDF acronym stands for MES Development Framework. This library is composed by different .NET assemblies that allow you to develop the MES application quickly and with little effort and in compliance with industry standards. In this example we are going to demonstrate the equipment model that allows you to define the model of the plant, the material model that allows you to manage all materials from raw materials to finish goods, lots and handling units, the production schedule that allows to manage the process orders and scheduling, the personnel model that gives you an interface to manage the personnel with specific skill sets in the shop floor operations, we supply assemblies for every model described in the ISA 95 standard. The library includes several external assemblies, for example, the order model to manage order, like incoming or shipping orders, the security model to manage authorization in the MES application, several utilities to manage sequences, parameters, constants, and so on. The MDF library is integrated into the Visual Studio .NET 2008 IDE as an add-in and the C-Sharp project template. The main characteristic of the add-in is the CCG custom class generator. This tool, starting from the data configuration, generates a series of classes. The result will be only compiled code, which optimizes the performance. The CCG tool also generates several custom tables to allow for a high performance storage layer. Now let us take a look to the ISA 95 standard. The ISA 95 standard is an international standard for the integration between enterprise and control systems. ISA 95 is an international standard for the integration between enterprise and control systems. ISA 95 consists of models and terminology. These can be used to determine which information has to be exchanged among systems for sales, finance, and logistics, and systems for production, maintenance, and quality. This information is organized in UML models, which are the basis for the development of standard interfaces between ERP and MES systems. The ISA 95 standard consists of several models, for example models of the physical structure of the enterprise, models of production procedures, models of information flows, and object models. A model is a useful representation of a specific attribute or behavior. Models are useful because they describe or mimic reality without dealing with every detail of it. They typically help people analyze the situation by combining ideas with information about that specific situation. Models help us make sense of the world as complexity. In this slide we can see the main models, equipment model, material model, personnel model. These three models are called the resources model. The combined resources are model by process segment model process segment capability model, production capability model. There are at least three models for production process or product, product definition model, production schedule model, production performance model. For any further information, take a look at www.i-s-a95.com. With a free subscription, you can download tons of documentation about this standard. Now we can see more in depth the most important to love the MDF library, the custom class generator. The CCG automatically generates the classes defined by the user developer using the custom class pattern. Here is an example. The equipment model is where you define how the MES is divided as equipment hierarchy. The equipment is an entity defined by the ISA 95 standard, but the standard defines only the identifier, the description, and the hierarchy of the units of equipment. In real-world manufacturing execution system applications this is not enough. For example, let us say we have a generic equipment class named My Equipment, that can be a work cell. According to the standard terminology, our class will be an ISA 95 equipment and the custom class will be, in this example, my equipment with the following custom attributes, my integer, my decimal, my string, my bool, my XML. Using the definition that the user developer has set, the custom class generator will generate the new class named my equipment. 
with several properties. My integer of integer type, my decimal of decimal type, my string of string type, my bool of boolean type, my XML of XML type. Similarly, the custom class generator will create a table named custom equipment underscore my equipment that will have the following fields. My integer, my decimal, my string, my bool, my XML. As a last step, the custom class generator will create an entity model to ensure that a single entry point allows access to the storage layer. All this will be done using the entity framework that Microsoft has released at the end of 2008. All the entities have characteristics of the ISA 95 standard and attributes defined by the user developer. All the classes generated by the custom class generator are partial classes and expose several partial methods using this interesting technique introduced by Microsoft with C Sharp 3.0. It will be possible to add custom properties and custom methods as well to add some special control during the add, modify, and delete operations. All this code can be stored in separated files so the custom class generator will not overwrite them. The solution architecture for a real-world manufacturing execution system application based on the MDF library will be composed by the following components. A storage layer with SQL Server 2005 or 2008. We are working to integrate our library with Oracle 2, the data access layer. It will be implemented by the entity model using the entity framework, a C-sharp project, MDF business entities. To implement the business layer, several web services to develop the business logic of the MES application that can be integrated with the workflow foundation, a web presentation layer with extensive use of the Ajax technology to manage data and supervise the production area, the distributed integration. It will be possible through the ADA data services, for reporting, we will supply several templates for SQL Server reporting services that can be modified by the user developer. Now we are at the end of this workshop. I'd like to talk about some future works. Our main goal is to develop an Oracle version of the framework to use Oracle as storage layer. We want to supply some tools integrated in the Visual Studio.net. To improve the productivity during user interface development, we are working on several use cases to show how our framework can be used. Thanks for your time. Contact us for any further information, suggestion, comments, and critiques to our email info at mpstudio.com or our website www.mpstudio.com. We will be glad to develop a demo with your specification to show how our library can be used in a real-world application. Thanks and to the next workshop.